right, everybody. Uh, say goodbye to the coolest Lego set I've probably ever built to date. <laughs> That's saying something. I didn't know I had this much foliage until I, I made this set. I'm not going to lie. So, this is Welcome to Sapocalypse Star. Uh, from my Lego movie series that I have in the back of my head. Um, it's kind of like the third Lego movie. Takes place after the second one. And, um, there's normal minifigures from Apocalypseburg. And we have these cursed pop star Lego friends. This is, you see, this is the funny thing. Um, when me and my brother went through Lego phases... He's the, he, this is the kind of stuff that he got. Like, Lego Star Wars in gray. When I went through a Lego phase, it was this, and Lego elves, and Lego friends. So I got this. So technically, combining our Legos together, which he doesn't really build anymore, so they're kind of mine by default, I have created the embodiment of Sapocalypse Star. And honestly... I think it looks kind of cool. You see, there's like a fun little slide, but it's actually deadly because there are a bunch of weapons in the way because Apocalypseburg. So as you can tell, there is like windows for like the storage. There's like a, there's sticker residue on that door and it makes it look really dirty, which is perfect. The snake isn't a snake. Let's just pretend like that's like a purple vine tendril because they're technically everywhere in Apocalypseburg. Um... You see, like, Lego elves. You see they're, like, buying fish or something. Uh, there's a hot dog cart. I think this is supposed to be. Um, a lot of the foliage is pink and purple. As well as the green. Because that is actually how Apocalypseburg looked. Which is great. And then there's this very cutesy looking building that, if you look closer, you realize that, well... There are definitely some apocalyptic elements to it, which is the embodiment of this apocalypse star. So, yes, this is it. And before you're going to ask, no, there's not really... It's not really anything in those buildings. I mean, there's like a few little pieces in there that have printing or textures. But other than that, there really isn't much going on there. There's like nothing inside the buildings if I were to turn the set around. Um, but yeah, this is my set, and it's about to all be demolished because I'm making another set and require the pieces that are in it. So, goodbye, Apocalypse Star.